One of the really interesting things about BigML is the sunburst visualization for decision trees. And here's an example. Uh, this is actually based on the uh, stumble upon data set that was made public uh, as part of a Kaggle competition. And I've used that data to train a model that predicts uh, whether a web page is likely to be interesting over long periods of time. And so here we have this visualization. And what BigML has just launched is something we call Open Sunburst. So I can actually go into the details for my sunburst here. I can copy this little snippet of HTML. And I can paste it into a document. And uh, apologies to the HTML purists among you, but I'm not going to bother adding uh, all the other tags like HTML and, and body and so forth. I'm just going to save this. And what you get is a miniature version of the sunburst. And note that this is uh, embedded in a simple HTML file. So you can publish this anywhere on the web. You can publish this in a blog. Uh, you, know, you can publish it uh, in WordPress. You know, drop it into a news article, uh, whatever you want to do. And you have the full interactivity. I can mouse over it. I can zoom in, zoom out. I can change to confidence view, which again, it's my, that's my favorite way to look at uh, a sunburst visualization. All right, I can see very clearly that if uh, the text of this web page contains recipe more than once, then we strongly predict that it's class one, uh, which in this case means evergreen, uh, something that's going to be of continual interest. And so this is really a great way to give your reader more context. Uh, if you're writing about data, and if they want to view the full version, they can just click on View in BigML, and it takes you straight to uh, the full-size version of the Sunburst. So this is a really easy way um, to publish Sunburst visualizations. Just take that little snippet of HTML, drop it in your web page, and you're done.